Welcome to my engineering drawing playlist. Today I will be explaining projections of points. So let's see first of all the outlines of the session. First we will see concept of the projections of point. Then we will discuss about the information required about the point. Then we will see position of points with respect to horizontal plane and vertical plane. Next, we will see the simple problem for the beginners about the projection of point. And at last, we will see point in first quadrant with respect to HP and VP. So let's see one by one all these points briefly. So first of all, to draw the projections of any point, one must have the following information. First, point that means with its description with respect to HP and VP like as first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant or fourth quadrant. Next observer that means the position of the observer observing perpendicular to the respective reference plane. So these are actually the respective reference planes and observer must be perpendicular to this reference plane. So here you can see this is the observer which is exactly perpendicular to this VP that means vertical plane which is considered as a reference plane. This HP is also considered as a reference plane. So if you see in this direction then your view that is projected on this VP and that is called as the front view. If you see from the top side, then your projection must be on the horizontal plane and that view is known as the top view. Now next, location of the point means its position with reference to horizontal plane and vertical plane. Now try to understand this location of the point with reference to HP and VP in detail. So terms above and below with respect to HP. If I want to locate the point with respect to HP, then these both terms are generally used. It can be above HP or it can be below HP. Next, terms in front and behind with respect to VP. So if I want to locate the point with respect to VP, then these both terms are used. In front of VP and behind VP. Objects can be placed in any one of these four quadrants. It is interesting to learn the effect on the positions of views like as front view and top view of the object with respect to this XY line when placed in different quadrants. Following notations should be followed while naming different views in the projections of points. So here object is considered as a point A. Then which are the terms that you should follow? So point number one. If point A is there and if I want to see its top view then it is denoted by A. So here this is the point A and if I want to see the top view of this point A then it is denoted by small a. So if you see the top view, that means from the top side, then the projection will be considered as a top view and that is denoted by small a. So very simple if the object is the point a and if I want to draw its top view, then it is denoted by small a. If once again point a is there, but if I want to draw the front view, then it is denoted by a dash. So if I want to see the front view, then it must be projected on this vertical plane. So it will be like this and it is denoted by a dash and this is called as front view. Next, it's side view that is denoted by a double dash. So if the observer is in side position, then the view is known as the side view. 
observer can be on the left side or it can be on the right side so the projection must be perpendicular to this observer position so projected view will be on this plane and that is denoted by a double dash so this is called a side view and it is denoted by a double dash so keep in mind that if it is top view then it is denoted by a if it is front view then denoted by a dash and if it is side view then it is denoted by a double dash with small letter same systems of notation should be followed in case numbers like 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 etc say if it is 0 0.6 then this will be the 6 here it will be 6 dash here it will be 6 double dash now the direction for the drawing plane so you have to look from this direction so this is actually the intersection of this two line that is like as plus from this direction so here you can see x y both should be coincide over here and this is actually the vp and this is the line for the hp if you consider the observer for the front view then this is the position of the observer so that you can say it is first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant and fourth quadrant it is like that first second third and fourth so you can see these four quadrant in this way now this quadrant pattern is observed along xy line always that is in red arrow here you can see will exactly appear as shown on right side and hence it is further required to understand illustration properly so let's say it is a point a so looking for this direction it can be seen like this now if you see the front view then your a dash will be here so this will be your a dash and the top view is a so it will be over here on this horizontal plane now let's see projection of point a which is in different quadrant one by one so first point a is in first quadrant so this is hp and vp and this is the reference line x y and you know that point a is in first quadrant that means over here so let's say point a is over here and if you see from this direction then the projection of this point a is on vp and that's why it is called as front view so it is denoted by a dash if you see from the top side then the projection will be on the horizontal plane and it is denoted by a but keep in mind that always horizontal plane is rotated with respect to this point in the clockwise direction so if you rotate this horizontal plane in clockwise direction then this point will move over here so the point a is over here instead of here so keep in mind that when you want to draw the projection of point your horizontal plane must be rotated in the clockwise direction so now this is the projection of the point a now if the point a is in second quadrant then it will be like this this is the second quadrant and here if the point a is there if the observer is in this direction then your projection must be on the vertical plane and it is denoted by a dash then the top view is denoted by a and you know that hp that means horizontal plane must be rotated in the clockwise direction so that it will move over here so the a point will be over here now next point a is in third quadrant so here you can see this is the third quadrant and if you look at from this direction then the front view is on the vp and it is denoted by a dash and the top view is on the hp and it is denoted by a 
but once again you have to rotate this horizontal plane in the clockwise direction so it will be over here so this is the position of the point a next point a is in fourth quadrant so if the point a is in fourth quadrant then it will be over here so once again observer is looking in this direction then the projection is on the vp and it is denoted by a dash and the top view is on the hp it is denoted by a but once again you have to rotate this hp in the clockwise direction so the a point will move over here so this is a very simple introduction for the projection of point so you have to identify the position of a and a dash according to the description of the point a so i think it is very simple and easy method to find the position of the point a and a dash it is called as a projection of point a so in the next video we will see the remaining portion thanks my dear friends for watching this video press the like button to appreciate